Welcome back to the channel squad. In today's video, we're taking a look at the NVG-10 from Goodnight Gear. I'm also going to show off the Mall C1 from Goodnight Gear. Now, this is an IR illuminator and laser, but it also features a green laser and white light. We'll talk a little bit more about its features, but first, I want to show this off at the Airsoft field. Uh, we're not going to do a comparison this versus a PBS-14. We are solely doing the NVG-10, how it holds up in an Airsoft scenario. That's it. That's what this video is all about. So we're going to head to ambush and just film some gameplay, do a little bit of 1v1 action between me and Sean, and just kind of put this through its paces and see, you know, how it holds up in more of an urban environment. Because so we're going to run it in the city and see how it works going building to building and then stretch it out to like 100 yards and just see what kind of performance we get with a, you know, sub $400 night vision device plus the you know, sub $200 IR illuminator. Is it worth the money? Will it work at the airsoft field? Will it, will it work in general? Let's find out. Here we go. So would you use this for airsoft? Yes, absolutely. I would use this for airsoft. It was absolutely awesome out there playing last night with Sean. We both used it. We both had a blast. Now, a few things to note, we'll go over the anatomy and a few other things. But one thing that you're going to have to keep in mind is this is a digital night vision device. So it's obviously using an IR illuminator. So here, and this is also an illuminator. This, if, if you're playing against other people using night vision devices, they will be able to see where you're at. This is the same concept as a person using a white light. Like you can see Sean was using a white light doing some maneuvers around a few of the buildings. When he was doing that, I could see exactly where he was, no problem. So uh, if you would use uh, your illuminators, you are going to telegraph exactly where you are. A good rule of thumb, something that I was doing is I had this illuminator turned off and I was also very cautious when I would use this illuminator. So basically I could navigate without really telegraphing where I was. And then when I needed it, this thing is the goat. Like seriously, we were shooting out past a hundred yards. We could see out past a hundred yards in pitch black. I mean, it was, it was really dark in the woods. And there was this one scene back by the prison where uh, Sean looked on my cell phone. He could see what was going on because this has a Wi-Fi transmitter. So you actually transmit a signal to your phone and see what's going on. That's how I was able to capture all of that footage. But this thing is absolutely ridiculous. The visible laser is really impressive. The white lights, whatever, but the IR illuminator is absolutely awesome. So this package right here for Airsoft, you can see and engage threats past the point of engagement for an actual airsoft gun. So, you know, I was be I, I could see past where someone could engage with me. So that's that's really awesome. So this really becomes a good piece of kit because you can like use it in that capacity. If if I know that I can stay safe with this setup right here, I can stay safe and uh engage threats. So even if you are playing against other people with, you know, night vision devices or anything like that, you're still going to be able to see them out past that point of engagement. So it kind of like, it does level the playing field in some sense, because there's a lot of purists out there that are going to be like, oh, my PBS 14, my PBS 14. And you know, like from a navigation standpoint, using night vision is tricky to do like navigation wise, like moving through uh, buildings or just anywhere it, it can be tricky. 
Uh, PVS 14 is going to be better for navigation. I'm going to say that right now. This is kind of cropped in. It does have a screen. It's digital, so it's got a screen in there. So when you're looking through that screen, uh, it does... It's not impossible to navigate with. I didn't have a problem navigating with it. Once you fine tune this and get it exactly where it needs to be, set your focus, you know, you're going to be fine navigating. Obviously, there's a few second delay when you switch from, I want to say second, like maybe millisecond delay between your illuminators and this. Like you can definitely tell that, that uh, you, can, you can notice that delay there is what, I, what I'm trying to say. But if you're using something like this against people that don't have night vision, they're just using white lights in the dark, um, this, <laughs> you you are going to be absolutely unstoppable. I had no problem identifying Sean's locations and just engaging him. There was uh, this one where he's hiding behind the tree and I just see his arm sticking out. And uh, like the screen recording on the phone isn't as good as what this actually is when you're looking through it. So on the on the phone, it is a little grainy and it, it doesn't look that great, but I could, I, could out, I could identify bodies. I could out identify the fact that his arm was sticking out just far enough. You know, obviously he's using light discipline. So he's like, using his light to navigate and then he shuts his light off. So I knew exactly that, you know, he's behind this tree and then I could see his arm sticking out. I could see the movement and stuff. So it does have a digital zoom as well. So let's just kind of segue into some of its features. Obviously, uh, digital zoom, you can either do green or white for your, your color profiles. I like using that white, just everything's contrasted better. I could pick up on things much better with the uh, with the white, the green kind of loses stuff in the darker areas. So I liked, uh, I like using the white. It's waterproof and it is dust proof. It's got an electronic gyroscope inside. So it does have your north, south, east and west. You can navigate with, with that. So obviously it does have that Wi-Fi transmitter. So it's transmitting a uh, signal to your phone so you can kind of see what's going on. If you do want to record any type of gameplay, you can do that. Link for the app is down in the description. It is a third-party app. It's not one of their apps. So just keep in mind, uh, it's not it's not as fine-tuned. So you have to uh, basically jump through a few ho uh, hoops to make sure everything's working properly. But once you get it all set up, it, it logs on and, and links up, pairs the two devices, no problem. So Right here, we've got our control. This is our on and off, and then we've got our right and left. So you can change uh, your settings, go into your setting modes, and, and basically turn your Wi-Fi on or off, change your color profile, zoom in, all that kind of stuff is gonna be done right here, which is really easy to hit with your finger. It comes with rechargeable batteries, so you'll be able to swap those out, charge them up. Uh, all the playing we did last night didn't have any problems with it dying. Battery compartments right here, like I said, it is water and dust proof, so. There, there we go right there. Um, everything closes up nicely. It seals up nicely. It comes with a helmet mount, so it does mount to the helmet. I wish this was a little bit longer so I could get it positioned perfectly for my particular face. Other people might not have a problem, um, but with my stupid head, that was just an issue I had. This could, this could just be a smidge longer, which actually there are some screws right here. I might be able to take this out and have something 3D printed just a, a hair longer and I will be set. Up in the front, IR illuminator, and then we've got our focus ring right here. Once you got that dialed in, it is clutch. Like this thing worked great. Something else worth noting back there in the back, it does have an eyepiece. Now I was running iPro obviously because I'm playing Airsoft. So this cup, the eye cup back here, I just fold it. That way it just stays out of my way. Moving on to this. This was a force to be reckoned with. Honestly, this totally makes this package worth it. Like I wouldn't run one of these without this IR illuminator and laser combo. It is amazing. Uh, battery goes back here. You've got your windage and elevation adjustments here and here. Uh, your fire buttons will turn it, uh, will basically fire it so you can shoot your laser or your illuminator. And then this up here. And I did another video kind of diving into this a little bit more just on the Mall C1 clone. But uh, right here, you've got your visible and your IR. So cool thing about this, when you're in either vis or IR, there'll be an amber light here. It'll just let you know that, hey, the unit is turned on, but you're not firing yet. So the second you fire, this is going to turn green, which is going to be a good indicator that even if you're not running your, uh, your nods or whatever you're doing, uh, you'll know that, hey, I might be shooting an IR laser right now. And like, we should, we should watch out for that. So if it's if this is green, you're going to notice shut that off, which is really neat. So you got that, you can shut it back here to off. Now, all of my devices, when I'm transporting them or when I'm storing them, I always take the batteries out. Uh, just good, good practice to do, um, which these are all, they're all out. There's your battery compartment right there. Uh, this spring's got a little bit of tension on it. So you do have to not fight with it, but you definitely have to push to get that to go back in like that. 
This is a modular unit. This is the all aluminum one. It feels great. This is just a great clone all around. Didn't have a problem out in the field actually with a chem light. I was adjusting to kind of zero my laser. Uh, we were just standing in the middle of the trail shooting into a window and uh, just kind of zeroing it that way using the MVG-10, which is really, really dope. So really easy to do, really easy to work with. I love its profile and footprint on the gun. Like it was just, it was, it was really nice. I, I, I enjoy this. And like I said, out to 100 yards or out past 100 yards, no problem seeing targets, no problem with the laser. Like I've got nothing but good things to say about this. And it just really complements the MVG-10 really well. Uh, just that combo is amazing. So, so this will retail around $330 just for the device itself. You can get the unit with the helmet all set up and ready to go for around $380. Now it was sold out as of the time of recording right now on their website. I'm sure they'll get more in. So definitely use the link down in the description to get yourself one of these if you're interested in upping your airsoft nighttime gameplay. Thanks for watching the video. Catch you on the next one.